powerful, pocket-sized, the Flipper Zero is the ultimate multi-tool for geeks, pentesters, and hardware enthusiasts alike. In this video, we check the Flipper Zero's NFC module and read, save, and emulate RFID badges. I plug the Flipper Zero to my computer to record the QFlipper session. I'll be able to navigate the Flipper menu on my desktop using my mouse and have a larger screen to show you the whole process. In the menu, press the middle button, then with the up and down arrows, go to NFC, then validate, press read, validate. You're now ready to read a card. The badge is read by placing it behind the Flipper Zero. When the MyFair keys are found, press the right arrow to go to the more menu and validate, then save, validate, name this one home, and save. If we want to verify that the original badge's UID matches the one in our flipper, we can use any RFID app on the phone and just scan the badge and scan the flipper and verify that the UID is the same. So let's check in a field. This is the front door. The library. And of course the elevator, COVID style. We start with uh, NTAG 213. We can read, save and emulate this type of badge. I use the Lab 1 MyFair 1K badge to make sure that the app is scanning and that uh, the positive copy is genuine. We read the card and we can save or emulate. Here we will just emulate and we will verify that the card and the emulation on the flipper are identical. I will control with the MyFair 1K. The card and the emulation on the flipper 0 are identical. Same process with ultralight cards. Due to the complexity and security of these fire cards, the flipper can't really do anything. It offers to save the card, but there is no emulation available, of course. We are using Lapo One's MyFair Fire compatible UID modifiable emulator card, a card that emulates a MyFair Fire card, allowing you to set a custom UID. It will do the trick here. Lastly, I wanted to try a MyFair 4K card, and as you will see, the Flipper Zero seems to be able to read, save, and emulate this type of badge. We go in read mode. Right now the flipper is checking the keys in its dictionary and when all the keys will be found, we can verify the emulation. Thank you for watching and if you found this video useful, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also make sure to visit lab41.com if you need a Flipper Zero and of course to check our curated collection of pentesting tools. See you next time!